Leadership is not a path of comfort. And any of you who sit in that position, you know that so well. But it's one of sacrifices. And a lot of times, no one ever sees the sacrifices of the person in leadership. It's a call to lay down our lives of, to serve God and others just as Jesus did. So, so let me tell you three people and kind of their thoughts understanding this text. One was Lauren Sandy. Uh, Lauren Sandy was one of the early members of what's known as the Navigators. Maybe some of you were at a college university and the Navigators played a big role in your spiritual discipleship. They love discipleship, the Navigators. And Lauren says this, how do you know when you have a servant's heart? And then his answer was, you know you have a servant's attitude when you react like a servant when you're treated like a servant. Wow, how true. And, and then Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa understood this when she shared her simple path. Great book, by the way. Uh, the fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith. The fruit of faith, it's love. The fruit of love is service. And the fruit of service is peace. You know what our world is seeking right now more than anything? Peace. And, and a lot of people think it's going to come in an election, right? And by the way, I encourage you, if you are a believer in Jesus, if not, uh, you should vote. Like, it is an amazing opportunity, and I would even say responsibility that you have. And I would encourage you to just do two things. One, uh, whoever you're going to vote for uh, or whoever you're going to vote against, make sure that you don't just watch an ad. Uh, that you go to like their website and actually read like here's what they're saying they're going to do this is what they're saying they are right it's really important that you exercise that that you you have that opportunity in our country and so we crave peace and a lot of times we think it's going to come from a ballot right but Jesus shows that true peace comes when we devote ourselves in serving other people uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once preached from Mark chapter 10, verse 45. And uh, he was speaking to people who felt like greatness was out of their reach. And he reminded them that everyone can be great because everyone can serve. Here's what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and your verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. You know, I believe that all three of their lives, and many of you seated even in here today, you, you, you embody Jesus' call of serving. And, and it reflects what Galatians 5.13 tells us, that through love, serve one another. You know, and I personally just want to say, uh, thinking about the sacrifices that many of you have made over the, the past several weeks with two different hurricanes, right? Neighbors helping neighbors and first responders, the linemen, our, our military personnel, the, our church and, and, and the GO team and all of those who have served others at really an expense to themselves. And in the same way, Jesus invites us. He encourages us, if we're going to follow him, not into a life of comfort, but into a life that may include suffering. That in a life that, that could cause you to serve others for the sake of Christ. So here's the heart of the message as we wrap up. True leadership, true discipleship is not about being served. It's about serving. And just imagine for a moment. Uh, uh, imagine your family, your home. Uh, imagine your circle of friendships. Imagine your workplace or our church, the South Tampa community. Um, imagine what would change if we embrace Jesus' form of leadership where we served others. 